As you guys can see, I am running the Box Withdraw Windows Emulator on my Android device. Let's get started. Yo, what's up, guys? It's Aptrix here. In today's video, we'll be setting up a brand new Windows Emulator for Android, which you guys might have heard previously. It is the Box Withdraw project, which we covered, I guess, around three to four months ago, as it was supposed to be one of the best Windows Emulator for Android devices of its own time. But unfortunately, due to some errors and hacking of the code, this emulator was temporarily stopped. But guys, Box Withdraw Emulator is back once again. And in today's video, I'll be testing it out to see if it is actually worth it, if it works or not. Well, in today's video, I'll be talking about the minimum requirements, best settings, setup. So be sure to watch the full video, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on all notification as I upload similar videos on my channel. With that being said, let's get started. Now, basically, Box Vidra is an open source Windows emulator for Android, which is available on its official GitHub page. And you'll be able to see that the minimum requirements are as follows. Android version 10 or above, you need at least Snapdragon 655 processor or above along with 3 to 12 GB of RAM 4 to 6 GB of storage is required and yeah that's about it now there are two versions of box Vitra emulator the first one is native version the second one is p root version now as of filming this video box Vitra emulator p root is not available we can only try out the native version which doesn't really matter that much because the only difference which I can see is in the theme section so if you go to box Vitra native themes you guys will be able to see we get original Windows 10 theme in a Windows emulator for Android instead of the wine based theme we also also get gaming theme we get purple theme and windows 7 theme windows 95 theme whereas in box vidra p root we get windows 11 themes uh, which look really great in my opinion but unfortunately it is just a theme it's not original windows 11 so let's simply start setting up the box vidra emulator now for this emulator you'll need to add termux as well as termux x11 on your android devices let's start off by setting up the termux x11 so we'll go to output preferences and here display resolution set it according to your device specification and I'll go with 1280 by 960p resolution as this tablet has a 16 is to 10 aspect ratio. Stretch to speed display should be enabled. And yeah, that's about it. Those are the best settings. Once that has been done, let's just go ahead and open the Termux app. Now here you'll need to paste the code which has been provided on the official uh, GitHub page of Box Vitra emulator. So right here you guys will be able to see I have pasted the code and I'll press the enter button. Now the setup of Box Vitra emulator will depend device to device and it usually takes around uh, 10 to 15 minutes. After pasting the command, you will need to wait for about a minute or so. Then you will get this pop up where it will say you are about to add Box Vitra emulator. So simply tap on the OK option and wait until the setup has been completed. Once again, this setup will take anywhere from 5 to 10 minutes. After waiting for few seconds, you will get two options. One is the Box 64 Glipsy version, and the other one is Wow 64 Glipsy version. Now, in my opinion, I recommend you guys to go with the second option, which is going to be the Wow 64. So you can choose it with the help of these arrow buttons afterwards simply tap on the enter button and it will start adding wow 64 glipsy version of box vidra emulator and there we go guys this process took about five minutes but wow 64 glipsy is successfully added inside of the box vidra emulator i'll simply press the enter button all right guys now once the setup is over you'll simply need to type this command which is going to be box vidra dash native which will unlock or launch box vidra emulator and it will take some time to load as we'll be able to see it says syncing packages afterwards you guys will be able to see it is the complete version 1.0 of box vidra emulator released on september 8th and you will be able to see the settings manage packages current wine version etc so we'll just go ahead and go to the wine version to see that wine 9.3 vanilla wow 64 is being used which is pretty amazing it is one of the most stable wine versions and if we just go ahead and scroll down we get some settings such as dynamic settings which we used to apply in the mobox simulator for example 45 dynamic preset is the best performance preset so i'll just go ahead and type 45 afterwards tap on the enter button anyways we'll go to themes and you will be able to see we get windows 10 theme as well as windows 95 theme as this is the native version you can go with the native theme and as you guys can see it will start adding it inside of the box vidra emulator and there we go it is successful and we are now back to the box vidra emulator so what are we waiting for let's just go ahead and start box vidra emulator you get four versions the first one is non-root version which is recommended and root version is recommended for rooted devices safe mode is also present and box vidra for mediatek processors or mali gpu android devices is also present we'll go with the first option and let's see how well does it actually work and here we go guys box vidra emulator has successfully started now you might be wondering why did i switch from my tablet to my phone that was because my tablet was having some issues starting the wine container whereas on my android device which is iq12 with snapdragon 8 gen 3 processor 
box vitra started successfully without any issues now you'll be able to notice the windows 11 theme is something like this where you get a lot of options such as system settings settings office and here you will be able to read all the options like setting manager where you will be able to manage settings for XFCE. Now XFCE is just like a theme layer. Basically with the help of XFCE you will be able to add theme uh, inside your Windows emulator for Android. For example once I open files app you will be able to notice that uh, a file manager will successfully start. If you go to file system then yeah there will be some issues because obviously uh, this is not a proper Windows emulator. It's just a wine based container. Now funnily enough we also get some options like micro Microsoft store so let me just go and tap on it to see if it actually works or not and uh, okay it actually opened Firefox for some reason and it has opened Microsoft store on Firefox it has just opened the URL it is not the original Microsoft store which is present on Windows PCs nonetheless it is pretty cool to see that Firefox is working so let me just go and close it and afterwards we'll open the wine xf manager afterwards tap on launch anyway now inside wine xf manager is where you'll be able to manage everything for example the dx wrappers that you are using along with that the turnip graphics drivers you guys will be able to see multiple turnip graphics driver along with virtual versions so let me just go and select the turnip version 8 by checking this box afterwards we'll just go and scroll down and select dxvk 2.3.1 once that has been done let's tap on apply d3d afterwards we'll also apply mesa once the applying D3D is finished, so you'll be able to see a shell will open up at the left corner and once it has been closed, I think it has been applied properly, we'll also apply the Mesa turnip driver, it will open shell once again and if we go to resolution, we can also modify the custom resolution, add primary cores, select primary cores, for example, we'll set 7 primary cores and tap on the apply button. Afterwards, we can go to wine prefix and enable or disable async. Once again, if we go to compatibility, etc., we'll be able to choose dynamic presets manually. And if we go to application, it will show all the applications present. So box withdraw emulator is very versatile. To be honest, you can also add input bridge touch controls and a lot more. But let me just go ahead and close it. Now, if you want to test out any games, then you'll simply need to go to the applications folder and make sure to launch box withdraw wine file manager and then tap on launch anyway. Once that has been done, you will be able to to see the wine file manager will successfully start so yeah guys this was the complete setup of box with emulator later on i'll be making a dedicated gameplay test video where we'll be testing out lot of games including gta 4 gta 5 dragon ball sparking zero and much more so be sure to hit that subscribe button turn on all notification i'll see you guys next time thanks for watching goodbye